Hey guys, it's Michael with PocketNow.com here back at Samsung on IFA Day 2 in Berlin checking out the Galaxy Note 2 again. We had a hands-on with this device uh, yesterday and uh, went through a lot of its features, but we want to sort of compare and contrast it to the Galaxy S3. This is an AT&T branded variant I brought with me from the States, but it is identical to all Galaxy S3s physically. Right next to the Galaxy Note 2, you can see the obvious size increase and also a color difference that we did not immediately detect. Still the same kind of faux brushed metal, but this, uh, I believe it's titanium gray, is not quite at all, not quite the same as the deep blue of the Galaxy S3. You can see the similarities in the camera modules here, similar configurations as far as the headphone jacks go. No stylus, obviously, on the S3. Volume rocker, power button. Coming to the Galaxy Note 2 from a Galaxy S3 will feel just like coming home, right down to the ripple pattern on the Nature UX. So, obviously very similar devices from a manufacturer that prizes uniformity across its high-end product line. So one of the primary reasons that the Note stands apart from a high-end standard smartphone like the Galaxy S3 is that S Pen stylus. Now, if you fire up S Note on the Galaxy S3, or rather S Memo, excuse me, you know, you're perfectly free to write with your finger on the capacitive screen here, but there's no pressure-sensitive Wacom digitizer or anything of that sort. So you kind of kind of get this constant pressure of this uh, thick line on the screen that doesn't really do a lot. And we know that styluses tend to be a bit more specific than that. The S Pen takes it a little bit further. See, we've got that uh, air view hovering action going on, but also. You can see pressure sensitivity variations as I push harder and the virtual ink seeps into the virtual paper, whereas with softer, you can see a very plain difference there. Another thing people have been asking us are if there are any improvements to S Voice in uh, Jelly Bean in the Jelly Bean version of uh, that's that the Note 2 is running. So we're just going to ask S Voice a couple questions here. Double tap on both. What's the weather like in Berlin today? So these are running on different networks. <laughs> the Galaxy S3 giving us the forecast for Berlin, New Jersey. LOL. And of course, the Galaxy Note 2 following suit. So no improvement in general awareness of location. Let's go ahead and um, just try and open an app. Open gallery. There, that is, that's Reginald Bell Johnson, which is awesome. And there's the new gallery in Jelly Bean, that's great. And why don't we try composing a tweet? Tweet, IFA is awesome, exclamation point. Once again, this is on HSPA, this is on Samsung's Wi Fi network here at IFA. Looks like it got that, and it understood perfectly. So, S Voice does some things well on the Note 2, some things not so great, and that's about on par with our experience on the Galaxy S3. So, one of the things about the Galaxy S3 being a smaller device than the Note 2 that's convenient is that the keyboard generally is accessible with one hand if you have your other hand is busy with something. Whereas on the Note 2, that is still sort of the case, but really not, not quite so much. Getting to the Q and the one that's a little bit difficult, and I have medium-sized hands. If you have smaller hands, it'll be much more difficult. So Samsung has thoughtfully included a setting in their stock keyboard. You jump on into settings, and you can set one-handed operation right there. You check that box, jump back into the keyboard, and the keyboard will favor one side of the screen over the other. So if you're right-handed, you set it over here. If you're left-handed, you can set it over there. Very, very handy for a device of this size. So, while we're here, we're just gonna hop into the browser and do a little bit of comparison while we're talking about screen size. And because these are on different networks, this is not a speed test necessarily, as much as it is an examination of what the sites look like on, what the same site looks like on a standard Superphone display and on a standard phablet display, a term that Samsung has recently sort of embraced. So you can see rendering is much, much faster on the Note 2 in this circumstance. That doesn't really mean anything because their test conditions are not ideal, but it certainly is reflecting uh, what we saw yesterday on the Note 2 
with a really nice performance in the browser from pinch to zoom to scroll rendering. When you look at this, you definitely have to double tap to get to column view to actually read the text. Whereas on the Note 2, you really don't have to. It's not necessarily comfortable to read text this size, but you can do it. It is possible. Whereas on the S3, it's not really possible unless you are uh, have especially acute vision. And then, of course, there are additional enhancements to Android, the Jelly Bean version that the Note 2 is running. The Gallery app has been rethought. And in addition, there have been some enhancements have been made to the Galaxy S3's pop-up play version, which is still here, but only more so, of course, on the Note 2 with a resizable window that you can move around. And when you hop back into the video player, you can use the S Pen and the air view to hover over points in the timeline without stopping the video, just like on a flash-based player on a computer or on YouTube. And finally, support has been included, this being Jelly Bean once again, for Google Now, which is not functioning on the network right now, but which is really handy to have, or might prove itself really handy to have, depending on your tastes. Guys, thanks for watching our side-by-side -side comparison, the Galaxy S3 with the Galaxy Note 2. We're going to have a bit more content from everywhere here at EVA, including a lot more Samsung stuff. Please stay tuned to Pocket Now. You can follow us, if you like, at Pocket Now Tweets on Twitter. You can follow me at, at Captain Two Phones. That's Tony behind the camera. Follow him at, at Anton D. Nudge. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.